Hey, Dean Capra here. Getting ready for the big TLC at the Champions Tour. I'm kind of re-rigging here, kind of getting ready. Um, they wanted me to talk a little bit about hooks and methods of, of fishing. You know, hooks are very important. Um, and there's, there's a lot of different ways you can catch these fish uh, on this lake. A drop shot happens to be one of the ways. And uh, for drop shot, and I like to use just a, a little, it almost like a walleye hook. Okay, and you tie a polymer knot in the, the sinker sits below here and the bait's up here and you just basically drop it over the side of the boat or pitch it out and, and fish about a foot off the bottom and it's, it's really a good method of catching these smaller fish. Um, it's not known as a big fish bait but uh, it, it will catch the fish that you need because every fish counts in this event. The other thing that's going on is there's milfoil, there's a, a, a rig called a Nico rig that's been real popular and it's been just kind of pop popularized this year um, and Rappel and VMC have come up with a hook it's called the Nico hook and that hook is a little bit longer shank and it just seems to work better and it gives the actually the worm a little bit better action so the key to the Nico rig is you put a this here's a Nico rig tool basically it's got a little rubber band on it and you stick the worm in like this and then you just roll that up now that ring kind of holds the, the the worm like that then you take a Nico sinker just like that okay so now we're ready to go and then all we do is we hook the worm just like that okay and basically that's a Nico rig and it's kind of a do-nothing type of deal you throw it out let it get to the bottom reel it in and do it again but it's been very popular the past few years and I've, I've tried it and I've actually caught some fish on it. I'm tying one up today. I don't know how well it's going to work in the wind tomorrow. When the conditions are right, it's a very, very effective way of catching bass.